you know, when you actually bother to take a look at these bees up close. Only then you will start noticing these guys are actually just 2D images. <laughs> and I need the HD version on the Xbox to finally realize that after all these years. The eye for detail. But anyway, hello everyone. Treeks here and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Welcome to World 9 Click Clock Wood. The world that is pretty much screaming Quattro Stagioni. There's four seasons to go through. Where the world will actually change up in every single season accordingly, giving us other things to do. And autumn was actually up next. And as you may expect, just like in summer... Bear, get eerie, more caterpillars! Need ten this time! Yeah, like I said, he needs more caterpillars in autumn as well, only this time he asks for ten. So we need to be on the lookout for more of these little... Larval friends, because we don't have 10 quite yet. But what we do have is a lot of leaves that have piled up, and therefore making access to these areas a lot easier. There should also be a Jinjo somewhere. And a caterpillar, of course. But I can also remember a Jinjo standing on top of these leaf piles. But apparently not here. Might also be in a different area. With more of these uh, areas. On the lower floor where actually some leaves have piled up. In fact, there he is. Orange Jinjo in the background. <laughs> That's the guy I was thinking of. Let's go to that area first. Let's check that off immediately. And of course also immediately take care of the event that is here. Remember Gobi and his plant. And in fact, he is still here. Hi there, Mr. Orange. I saw you from a distance. <laughs> okay, now it's time to actually gaze our attention to Gobi here. The fact that he's still here means we can still use him. <laughs> like I said, you will never be safe from me. <laughs> and this time, the flower will fully bloom. And we get the reward. Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there! Banjo Dewey! <laughs> oh, there's notes in there. Um, let's do that with the Wonder Wing, obviously. Wouldn't know how to do that otherwise. And as you can see, here in autumn time, the river is back in its full glory. It is wet again! <laughs> so we can swim. And remember how the wall to Naughty's house the beaver that we actually um, helped in summer was too steep to climb. But we can, of course, swim in it and still reach his house. A couple of months too late. <laughs> oh, here you are at last. I've been waiting months to give you this. Yeah, it was just a couple of minutes for me, so I don't really mind. <laughs> Jiggy number four. And remember, there's more stuff in here, not just the Jiggy. There's also some notes in here. And that final thing is not here quite yet, I think. No, that only appears in winter. So, we'll be back here later. In a moment in time when you won't really think about actually going in here. But you'll see what I mean the moment we actually reach that point. Not going to talk about that quite yet. At least not too much. Let's head out again here. Still a caterpillar for us to find in here. It gives us five. So we need five more to find. I'm pretty sure Autumn has the most caterpillars by far. And therefore is the easiest to actually collect them. There should be plenty of them. There's a lot more than 15 caterpillars in this world. You need 15. Five in summer and ten in autumn. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot more than 15, so finding enough of them should not be a problem. Uh, let's stay down here. This is the pathway up, of course, but we also want stuff down here. In fact, that is my recommended route to just go to the lower areas first and only then start climbing the tree. Let's head back to our friend Mumbo. Let's go see if he wants to do some magic now. 
in summer it was too hot for him. Let's go see how he thinks about magic now. The heat is gone, so that's not going to be an excuse anymore. Oh, there's a caterpillar here. <laughs> Mumbo busy. Sweep many leaves. No magic today. Okay, I wouldn't know how all these leaves got in here. Although, never mind that remark. I do know how they got in here. <laughs> Real life experience. I know that the moment leaves start falling from the trees, when the fall season actually becomes a thing, you can't even leave your front door open for five seconds without a lot of leaf blowing in immediately. <laughs> this seems like a similar situation. And he does not even have a front door that he can close. <laughs> Let's move on. Another caterpillar here, so that's eight. Only need two more. And we have not even started climbing yet, so... That's going fine. Oh, and remember, in autumn is actually the time when um, the tree is surrounded by notes. The lower area of the tree. So don't forget to pick all of those up. From experience, I know these are the easiest ones to forget. So make sure whenever you make your circle around the lower areas to also pick up the notes that are here. But we should have all of them. And therefore, we have a free pass to the higher areas of the tree. Finally. We don't have to go right anymore. We already have the jiggy there. So let's head up. Station one. Branches. Caterpillar. And a mumbo token. There's also a mumbo token in summer here, I'm pretty sure. But I'm also pretty sure I never picked that up. <laughs> but at least allow me to point it out. In this area, in summer, you can also find a mumbo token here. Oh, went straight through that guy. <laughs> Station 2, beehive. Caterpillar. Every single one of these areas actually have the caterpillars. <laughs> Making it very easy to collect enough of them. Okay, the Zabas. Let's go see if they want to fight again. Bzz, nothing in here for you now, bear. We've all moved out. Apparently they don't want to fight. And the fact that they're talking about there's nothing for you here... ...is also not true, because there were four notes in here. <laughs> so they're not just chickens because of not wanting to fight. They're also liars. <laughs> They think I don't need the notes. Well, joke's on them. I do need the notes. <laughs> Not every single note in the game, but still. You do need a lot of them if you want um, the final reward for the notes. Not all of the notes in the game are required for that, but you do need pretty much all of them. <laughs> Alright, now this hut is also finally completed. Even though this is a Jiggy that's also available in summer already, in autumn it's way easier to get. And it's the same Jiggy, so you don't have to worry about, hey, you missed the one in summer. No, that's the same one. <laughs> it actually remains here. And in winter, I'm pretty sure you can't even get this anymore. I'm pretty sure in winter the door's actually closed. So this is a summer slash autumn exclusive Jiggy. Here's number 12 when it comes to caterpillars. Just like with mumbo tokens, more than we actually need. Next area we're going to find is of course Nap Nuts. And in summer he was complaining about the fact that he ran out of acorns because he couldn't restrain himself. <laughs> Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? Acorns. Okay. I'm really surprised you're actually asking for acorns. <laughs> but yeah, he actually needs six acorns before he actually gives you a reward. All six of them can be found in this area. So unlike the caterpillars that you're collecting from Eerie, which you can find throughout the entire world, 
The acorns you can actually only find around this area. And the first one should be in here somewhere. I was thinking it was actually floating on the surface, but it is not. Here it is. Alright, I need five more of those. I can already see a couple bouncing around there, so... Oh. Yeah, you can give all six of them at once, or you can just do them one by one. <laughs> no, steep slope. Um, how does this work again? Let's do the one in the back first. Oh yeah, and there's a boardwalk underneath that one, so... And this is how it works. We jump to this one, and land on the boardwalk below it. And there we can actually find another one. <laughs> so that is four. This one is on a steep slope, so do remember to talent trot here. Unless you really like scaling the tree here. <laughs> and the final one is indoors. Yeah, it's actually bouncing up there. How do we get to that again? Oh, there's also some notes here. And a caterpillar. <laughs> of course. There you are. And that makes a full six. One we already gave to him. Here are the other five. Yippee! That's all the acorns I need. Here, take this. I'll see you in spring. Uh, thank you for giving that to me during the cutscene. <laughs> Saves me some time. Okay, the jumps here become more and more annoying to do. <laughs> Just remember how to handle this, and it shouldn't be a problem. And here we find the final switch in this world. Winter is coming. <laughs> but not quite yet. Winter is coming. It's not here yet. <laughs> Let's first go to Erie, because that is where we are next. Let's first grab all the notes on your nest. And speaking of nest, where are your parents, buddy? Why am I doing all the food business for you? <laughs> not that it is a problem. I found way more caterpillars during exploring than I actually need. It is no problem for me. And that makes ten. You will grow even bigger. Thank you, bear. Here we soon be big bird. Must have sleep first. Of course, didn't expect anything less. <laughs> so, while we wait for him to grow even bigger in the next season, let's go to the final part of this tree. I don't think there's anything here in autumn, but still. You can go here, of course, if you don't have the jiggy from the top room yet. You can also pick it up now, of course. Like I promised back then, you can actually get that one in every single season. So for me, the only thing I still have to do while going down is getting the jiggy on the flower here. Thanks to Gobi, who gave his water to this plant twice. <laughs> Before heading off to Banjo-Tooie, <laughs> the lava world. Where he thinks he's safe, but even there we will find him eventually. <laughs> but for now... It has been the last time we saw Gobi. It's also going to be the last time we see Autumn, so say goodbye to the beautiful red color scheme. Autumn has been cleared. Everything that still remains is winter and transformation business. Let's move out again. Enough of this Autumn nonsense. Time for the real season to get started. My favorite season. Not just in this game, but also in real life. Winter. There's nothing as romantic as a good winter. <laughs> 
Okay, of course, everything is going to be frozen now. Everything is going to be covered in, in snow. And all of the plant life has ceased functioning. <laughs> so these nipper plants are pretty easy to handle in winter since they don't do anything anymore. Oh, and speaking of uh, fun things in winter... One thing in winter is absolutely not fun. You are my mortal enemy. <laughs> Like I promised in one of the earlier episodes when we actually got the red feathers cheat, flying is actually a pretty big thing here in Click Clock Woods. However, we only do it during winter. But before we start flying, let's first go take a look at Mumbo's skull in winter. On top of it, we can actually find the blue Jinjo. Appropriate to actually find him here in winter. His most appropriate color. <laughs> And in winter, we actually find out Mumbo is not even here. Mumbo's on vacation, you hairy fool. Come back in spring. Mumbo seems to be out for the holidays in winter. Going into his hut is not even necessary. There's not even a note to find here. But like I said beforehand, winter is actually also the time for the flight pads. It is a pretty vertical oriented stage, as you might have seen so far. However, flying was a no-go. Only in winter we are allowed to do so. Unlike in Freeze Easy Peak, you don't actually have to kill all of the snowmen. Just a couple, like this one, because this one's actually guarding something, even though, now that I'm seeing it, we actually also don't need to kill this one. <laughs> we can simply land on the witch switch, which we can find right over here. And a jiggy will spawn very high up in the lobby for this world. Ah, you missed me. <laughs> Here's another flight pad. The stage is going to be filled with them in winter. Ah, oh, and here are the poor remains of Gobi's beautiful little plant. <laughs> poor Gobi. Poor plant, most of all. <laughs> Let's go to the branch area next. I'm pretty sure I've got everything at the lower area. Be careful here, because these branches are narrow to begin with. But here in winter, they are also slippery, so falling off here is pretty easy now. We still need to go up here because there's notes in the winter. In summer and autumn this area can be ignored. There's nothing but mumbo skulls here. But in winter there's actually notes here. So you still need to go up here. The beehive is actually completely missing in action as you can see. <laughs> there's just a mumbo token in there. Something I don't need. But I can point out it is there. Next up, let's head for the tree hut area. Oh, and be careful because even these ledges are now ice physics, so... <laughs> Slippery conditions ahead. And it seems I remembered correctly, just like I said during autumn, this hut is actually closed in winter. So we're not allowed to go in here. If you still need to jiggy, I'm afraid you need to go back to autumn. <laughs> in winter, you cannot get it. Just a couple of notes on the roof. Next up is Napnuts' house. Also more difficult to reach, obviously. There's also ice physics on these boardwalks now. Okay, Napnut actually closed his door, it seems. And the snowman is giving a good example. <laughs> we can knock down his window to still enter the tree. And we can find out he's actually holding his hibernation. Oh, and that does not seem to be the only thing he's holding. <laughs> and of course he's dreaming about acorns. I'm not going to pretend I'm surprised. <laughs> I see you have some notes for me, sir. Don't mind me. 
The only time in the game that these guys aren't annoying is the moment you are very close to them. Because <laughs> as you can see, if you're close enough to them, they actually won't throw their snowballs. They only do that from a distance. Oh! Ah. Stupid Robin Hood. <laughs> However, luckily it's winter, so we have flight pads now, making it a lot easier to go back up. I'm surprised it actually took me this long to fall for the first time. <laughs> Thank you for the health. Where were we? Not over there. <laughs> we were a little bit further already. That is where we were. The next thing you're actually going to want to do is try to open up this window up here. And not like that. Ah, oh, come on! I was doing fine so far, but now a falling mode seems to have initiated. <laughs> Well, you know what? Since I'm losing my touch, I'm going to end the episode here. It's 21 minutes, so let's stop here. See you folks next time, when hopefully a little bit less failure is going to be um, happening. Click Clock Wood is going to be finished next time. That much I will guarantee. <laughs> Shrieks out.